Good evening, this is Caleb, the Market Secrets Blogger. Uh, welcome to what's my first training session for you. And today we're going to upload a web page, which will be a sales page, and we will also include a PayPal button here on it. So this should prove to be very informative and useful, especially for those who claim that it's just too technically difficult. We're going to prove that it's very easy for you to do. And let's jump right into it, because I'm going to try to do this as fast as, I, as possible. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to be getting this sales page script from a service that I'm a part of called the PayPal Marketing Commission System, or PPMC, which basically is a, is a service that sets you up with over 20 sales funnels. That's squeeze pages, free offers to give away uh, to potential prospects, to incentivize them to, to, to make them want to join your squeeze page and thus they'll enter your email funnel and start receiving already pre-written and pre-tested high converting messages over time that's meant to establish relationship build rapport and further promote products and services that will pay you 100% instantaneous commissions via PayPal which is important because you know most other affiliate programs they pay like every so many weeks or every 30 days or every 45 days or some every 60 and 90 days but this one pays as soon as the customer uh, makes the payment you get paid. Okay, now, uh, part of the benefits of being in the PPMC system is that they give you these different little scripts that you can use to upload to your own server as sites. And I want to use the one that says Starter Pack for Online Businesses. And this is the script that you see here. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to our hosting account, which for me it's HostGator, and go to the C panel or the Control panel and uh, I could set up a full no domain that says onlinestarterkit.com but just for the sake of being a little bit more faster here I'm going to use a subdomain to my main site marketsecrets.blizz which is uh, my main marketing blog which um, uh, in case you didn't know it's uh, where I publish uh, online marketing uh, resources and then marketing tips uh, make money online tips and blogging tips as well and right now just to let you know marketseekers.biz is currently on the first page at the top of Google results for the term make money online tips so make sure that you check us out at marketseekers.biz okay now I need a name to call it and I'm just gonna call it oh just for the Sick of brevity. We're going to call it Starter Pack. Starter Pack. Create the subdomain, and it'll just be a few moments while it creates that subdomain. And there it is starterpack.marketsecrets.biz. Now it created the subdomain. That's going to be the URL. That's going to be what people will enter into their browser to get there. Now, now what we need to do is upload our script into that domain name so it's actually a real site so let's go back to the home screen of our control panel and our hosting account and uh, that will allow us to get into the domain name here uh, we're moving along pretty quickly already as you can see okay now we want to go to the file manager because that's where the website files are and we'll click that and then I want to I want to find that particular subdomain we just made and it was called Starter Pack, if you do recall. There it is. Starter Pack. Go. And it should go straight to that page. And it's loading it up. It's fetching the files, fetching the directories, and it's opened up. And as you can see, now normally, I, I've already did a little uh, pre configuring here. But uh, normally what you have to do is create an index.html file page, which is where you're going to put your, uh, which is where you're going to put your, your script that, that's going to hold the site, that the script that I got from the PPMC here. So let's just uh, pretend that this didn't exist here, for example. We're going to delete it, actually, and do it over some scratch just so that you see the full process. I'm going to skip everything. What we do is we would create a new file. And we're going to call it, let me go ahead and break out my trusty reading glasses here. <laughs> okay, and we're going to, we need an index file that's going to hold our scripting information. So we would say index.html because HTML is the type of language that the site code is in. And we just create the file and hover over it, right click, 
go to edit that's where we're going to put our script at and make sure we go back to the PPMC where the script was we already have it highlighted make sure I got everything in there I like to I like to always click on select all just to make sure do copy go back there paste then save these changes saving index says success pretty quick right well if it says success then that means we should now see something at starter pack dot marker secrets dot this let's see if we see anything here oops not chat not chat and here we go it's just nothing that a quick refreshing won't uh, resolve and there it is starter pack that market secrets dot biz and you can see here's the whole site they're gonna get all of these products here uh... in one download and it explains everything they're getting and they're even getting private label rights to it which means private label rights they will even be able to um, use it as they please it's just they won't be able to uh... sell it as their own but they do have all the private label rights to it they can give it away if they so choose uh, but this is it and there's really some great tons of great information and tons of great services like the software here even comes in with it uh, it's going to give them everything they need to jump start they'll be way ahead of the curve when it comes to uh, internet marketing okay now but there's one thing missing of course if you notice and there's no way for them to get it to download it um, which we said this was going to be a sales page so what we need is a button so that's where PayPal comes in what you do is you go to PayPal log in and once you log in you want to go to the merchant services tabs and then you want to choose create payment button for your website okay you click on create payment button and it's just going to take a little minute for it to load here and now that we're here at the loading we want to choose the type of button this is going to be a buy now type it's not a subscription or a donation or anything of that type I want to give it a name so if I can trust the glasses on again and of course we're just going to stick with the same name we're going to call it starter pack and now to customize the button we can use this image they give you but I like to always use my own button image and you would just click on customize button come down here where it says use your own button image and here it asks for a URL now how do we get the URL that means we have to have the image loaded up somewhere so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load it up to my file I'm going to go where it says upload here in my C panel under the same filing place where the starter pack subdomain was at. It's important that it's in the same place. And uh, then we're going to wait for that to pull up and it's going to be a screen that's going to allow me to actually load up the image. Okay, and as you can see here's our screen. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to browse all the pictures in my library. Uh, I have a few PayPal buttons here. We're just going to see when it comes up what choices I want to choose from. And let's see here. We're going to go to pictures. And as you can see tonight, we're. I mean, that is. Computer's going a little bit slow. I have so many things running here. There's two good ones. Here's an add to cart button. Here's another add to cart button another add to cart button. It's going to be one of these three. I kind of like this one because it has the 100% guarantee on it and add to cart. Although uh, 320 by 164, that one's 449. It's a pretty big one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with this one because like I said, I just like that 100% uh, button on it. And it's just going to load it up here and you'll see it's going to be, once it's loaded up, then we'll have it and of course once we have it all we got to do is come back here to where we originally had the screen go ahead and refresh and we should see it appear somewhere about there let's just see if that happens for us here and voila there it is add to cart one dot jpg now that's going to be our url it's going to be starter pack dot market secrets dot biz forward slash add to cart one dot jpg so that's what we're going to put in this little place that says your own image so let's go ahead and put that now uh, I like to just copy this makes things a little easier for me and 
boom boom we of course we have the slash already and add to card one dot jpg oh want to make sure everything's right or oh, the image not going to come up okay now here we don't really need to track anything uh, but we might want to put the oops we do might want to put the cost right so how, what are we going to charge for something like this well I like to charge real real low for something like this we'll use something like $4.95 it's an entrance barrier type thing uh, it gives a lot of value for that price no shipping you don't have to worry about that uh, no tracking because it's not a physical uh, product but we do want to save the button at PayPal just in case we want to use that same button later let's go to step three here what do we need uh, do you want them to change any auto quantities it's not necessary because it's a downloadable product uh, and there's no special instructions needed they're gonna get the uh, they're gonna get the download right away and we don't need their shipping address because once again it's downloadable now here's the part where do the customers go whenever they cancel their checkout and where do they go when they finish the checkout that's the part of course where they go when they finish the checkout is the actual download and our PPMC has the download right here he says I need to put my my particular affiliate link there mine is 247 and this is the actual download let's go back uh oh, paypal where we were at uh, and now where will we take the customers to when they cancel their checkout that's something uh, you might want to in my case if they cancel i'll just take them i'll take them to msb i'll take them to my blog Sometimes you can have a but wait and have any have any, have any, have any cheap cheaper offer, or you can just go back to the sales page, or you can take them to some. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and take them to a list building mechanism I have. Uh, I'm gonna take them to uh, affiliate. I'll just go to my squeeze page where uh, I can at least collect their contact information. Then go to create button, and we're just gonna. Well, but we want this one here, and we're gonna go back to our index.html that we created here, and we're gonna add the button in. This is the good part where we actually add the button in. Uh, make sure I get rid of a few of these tabs too. And there uh, she goes. There is the index.html. And we want to find a place to put the button. So, how do you find that? How do you make sense out of all that code? Well, look at the page that we created. Where do we want it? We went right here at the bottom of this, right after this dash here, this cell that came with the dash and comes with master resale rights. So, usually that's what I look for. So, look. Look right here toward the bottom. It says come with master resale rights. We look for the end of that table and boom, it already actually has a P and a P here and it has one that is centered. So I'm going to put the code right here. Press save. Wait till the form saves. Success. Go back and refresh. Let's see what we got. Oops, it's off. It's inside the cell. We don't want it inside the cell. So let's go back and change it. See if you make a mistake. That's all you got to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this little part out. Take it out. We're going to cut. And we obviously have to go here would have been a better place after the last slash table after the complete table and we're gonna add some text here to, uh, I just added in a little text here also to make sure that they know what the price is so let's go ahead and save the changes there and now we go ahead and let's see if everything comes right yes get everything above just for 495 there you go our sales page with full product that redirects and everything all within under 15 minutes and that's easy simple now we got a full sales page you can go to starterpack.marketsecrets.buy.biz and get this right now and you can see how it works for yourself i greatly appreciate your time for taking out and i hope this is informative and useful for you